Thank you Sandbox Strategies and Fat Shark for providing me with a free copy of Warhammer 40k Darktide for review. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to stay informed on all the latest co-op games. Now in this review, I'm covering the co-op experience of Warhammer 40k Dark Tide on the Xbox Series X. This review will be broken up into gameplay explained, co-op explained, then my thoughts slash important information, so feel free to skip around to get the information you need. When playing this game, you will have one core experience, and that is the objective missions that go along with some light storytelling. Story-wise, you are an innocent prisoner that escapes and must work to put a stop to an evil group that's taken over the city. Before you get into the missions, you will choose from one of four classes that can be leveled up through a skill tree from normal gameplay. Additional customization can be done with cosmetics and new weapons. Once you have your class, you are free to jump into any of the missions from the hub area. These missions will vary in difficulty and will reward you with XP and money at the end of your run whether you finish the mission or not so you are always making some progress. These missions will have a few variations of your objective but ultimately the experience will for the most part be the same. You will work through a level with hordes of enemies attacking you very similar to games like Left 4 Dead or Back 4 Blood. Once you complete your objectives, you will extract and win. These missions can take up to an hour to complete. This is the core gameplay loop. Now when it comes to co-op, up to four players can play all of the game's content together online with cross-play support. There has to be four players in a lobby, so if you don't have four friends playing, your lobby will then be filled with random players or bots depending on if you put your lobby on private or public. Co-op players can play as the same class as other players in the group, but it's important to keep in mind that classes are structured to work together, so it may be best to have a balanced team. In-game voice chat, a pinging system, and voice commands are available to make working with teammates easier. There will be several scenarios where you must rely on your teammates, such as being revived, being freed from an attack, and completing certain interactions where you are defenseless, making the whole experience very co-op dependent. And that's all that this game has to offer. Now from my experience, I'd have to say that co-op was really fun. This whole game is structured around needing a full team and you can easily feel that with the amount of enemies thrown at you. I found myself constantly communicating with my team to complete objectives in voice chat and with the in-game pinging system when talking to random players. If you like Left 4 Dead or anything similar to that, this easily scratches that itch. I did feel that the missions were a bit too long and that can be a problem with some players if they are limited on time. Missions can feel a bit repetitive but they are more enjoyable with friends. Besides that, I didn't experience any bugs or issues so with all that being said, I'd have to give the co-op experience of Warhammer 40k Dark Tide 10 pepperonis out of 10. Warhammer 40k Dark Tide offers an excellent display of co-op mechanics that blend together to make a must play in the co-op genre. And that'll do it for this review. Comment below if you have any questions and I will try to help.